few announcements for 2024. Uh, we're going to have the conference Hoi Dong the end of this year on the 20, the, on the 20, 28, 30, three days, actually three, three days in South Australia, Adelaide. Reverend Sung used to be in charge here. So he opened, uh, so I wish you guys save money to go to Hoi Dong. This year, a little bit expensive because we are, have five star hotel and very nice and beautiful in the city. So uh, yeah, I wish that you guys save money. Um, sharing uh, expensive, I know, is uh, the ticket for the airline estimate maybe 400. Um, conference 650 if you share twin, uh, you know, and three people 550 each. So and I'm quite expensive, uh, I don't, but worse, it's good. I'm thinking about um, Kangaroo Island. Yeah, a few, I might stay back and you know travel around a bit of a few days. So uh, beside that, uh, I will be away uh, the end of this month. I'm going to Melbourne for council, uh, see my council. So I will miss the Sunday of the February. Um, I after I come back on the fourth of February, come back to Sydney, and the 8th of February, I, my family, Kim, Katrina, myself, my wife, going to Vietnam for four weeks holiday. Kim go only one week, but Kim, Kim run out of the holiday. Uh, and Katrina also have work to do, so she go two weeks. And myself and my wife gonna be four weeks uh, in Vietnam. Uh, every week, I mean, every two days, I will be in a new city, visiting different churches and going up to the high mountain, um, going up to Da Nang, uh, visit the people Katu. Uh, it's a high lane, live in a high mountain. So, uh, yeah, short mission. Uh, and come back in around before Easter. So a few things uh, will be done. Uh, we have uh, we have something that we're looking forward to, uh, and as I mentioned to Jessica and every one of you, uh, 24 is, uh, is something new challenge. Um, yeah, I hope that you guys can move forward and, and leave things behind. So uh, the topic I'm going to talk today is the journal of the new year. Uh, new year, the word we just had reading in Psalm chapter 37, verse 5, is commitment your way to the Lord and trust him and he will act. Another, another year have passed, as I mentioned, it's never going to return. Life can be short, time fly quickly. With such short time and how should we live this life? God give us a lie and he also give us a freedom to choose how we live. So how will you live? There's two part of for us to choose from. One is living selfish and suddenly and fresh the try or another option. Honestly trusting in God. In uh, God's way is uh, God generous, gen, uh, God allow us to choose our life. He also give us the freedom to choose, but we must be very careful what we are uh, accept and what we can get is uh, consequency. It, it's your choice. This decision making is your. The end is your face to what you make in decision. The book of uh, illicit, uh, this word bit tongue tied for me, sometimes uh, I can't read the, this one, it's uh, illicit, chapter 11, verse 9, had mentioned, rejoice, O young men, in, the, your, in your young, and let your heart cheer 
you in the day of your youth. Work in the way of your heart and sly of your eye, but know that for all these things, God will bring you into judgment. If you look around today, we see that uh, you may already know and make decision in your life what you're going to do for this year. You already make for this. You already think about what you are going to do for this year. In the chasing our life, it's we have sins. It are uh, suffering us. We suffer because of the illness. We suffer of the long uh, loneliness, pain, uh, cooperation, uh, and more. Because of the sin, brought art about the suffering. In the new year, do you have any hope, any new hope? Have you think about what you're going to do this year? Because life is, is very important. If we don't have hope, then our life is stuck and, and, and hopeless. So do you have any hope? Have you made any hope to wish for the new year? New year, new me. We hope that this new year, our life will be different from last year. We hope our life will be better. Our family will be happiness. We will fit. We will get better with people. Every year may end up the same, isn't it? We look at it this way because the culture we are living is sometimes we don't get out where we are uh, living. Sometimes we stuck with our parents. Sometimes we we just put ourselves in your own room and then never get out. The Vietnamese people say uh, that the, the word the word saying is uh, stay with your mom. You never get you never learn because mom loves stay at home, isn't it? Mom always cook and clean up and 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 having us for dinner and washing us. But saying that we have to go out and learn new things. As we enter the new year, perhaps none of us want to be continue living the suffer life. However, because we are in a nature of weakness, it's easily falling to the temptation our fresh life design the way we are want to be. Sometimes we are just want to be uh, our life so simple. We want do we, we want even uh, step fur, fur, further outside. We just stay in the comfort zone, but I'm time, time, that's no good. We cannot, by our own strength, live uh, a poor and we exactly, we, we always dream and live the beautiful world, beautiful thing that's happening to our life. That's okay, but, but why we are looking into things that you cannot do it? The next step is because that's because we can reply, we can reply on God who love and who alone can help us to to escape the cycle of faith uh, in the new year we you you can can come to God you can put your faith in God and surrender is on to him and trust him, he can act. Today, the words in the Bible, chapter 37, word 5, have mentioned for us, it commitment your way to the Lord and trust in him and he will act. Have you ever asked, have you ever talked and, 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 and mentioned? There is, um, there is five things that we're going to look into it. Basically, let me find out five things that will happen in us in this new year. The first one is we're going to surrender your soul and trust in God. To live in the peace and joyful world with God, we need to let go and let it mistake, uh, let it anger away and finish it. And, and, and let, let is, the past is gone. 
looking to the new thing. As Paul mentioned in the Bible in for 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 the uh, feelings in chapter three was thirteen to fourteen, it mentioned, brother, I do not consider that I have made my own, but one thing I do, forgetting what lay behind, straining forward and what lay ahead. I press on towards the goal and the prize for the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. We need to looking forward because if we are staying the same way, the say the same spot, then you don't know what is out there. We may uh, end up, you know, stuck and no, we haven't got decision where we're going. As Paul mentioned, we are let it go and lie behind more forward to call of God. We can surrender the past to God and trust he will act. He can heal us our past sore and carry us forward to into the new year. Commitment your way to the Lord and trust him and he will act. Psalm chapter 37, word 5. Number two is we're going to looking into is be present, trust in the Lord. Matthew chapter 6, verse 34 have mentioned, God remind us, do not uh, insist about tomorrow. Tomorrow is will accept to, for itself. What we need to do is uh, let the trouble doing it by itself. That's rather than worried what we're going to do tomorrow. What may happen tomorrow? We can present it today, just like how we surrender the past sadness and we also surrender the future for God. Because he loves us, he cares for us, he takes care of us. As we commitment our way to God, we can trust that he holds our worry and, our, and will faithfully carry on uh, uh, carry uh, us forward so we can need to do it so what we need to do is to present our today and we live for him in other words we have to commit our way to the lord and trust in him and he will act number three give Give our life, give our help to the Lord and trust in Him. In the world today, we agree it's uh, uh, grievous and jealous. We have been called reflex God, genius, love, but it's more blessing to give than receive. Acts chapter 20, verse 35 have mentioned that. Uh, it's funny, people are rather than receiving, than, than giving out, isn't it? I have this experience uh, uh, when I was young, in, when I was in Vietnam, back in very young. Um, back during the Vietnam War, uh, 1975 to 1983, that's a difficult time in Vietnam. My parent is a minister of the church. Um, we, each of us just have enough one small bowl of rice, just enough for that, that day. But suddenly this, this man, he said he is Christian. Uh, he come with nothing with good and he hungry. So we have four bowl of rice and all vegetable, no meat because it's a very difficult time. So what are we gonna do? He said he's a, he's a Christian, he's our brother. If we share him the rice, then our family will be hunger. So my father said, we have to. So what we're gonna do is become, we have become maybe one, one third of the boat or half and share with him. So that day, because I'm a young man, back then I'm 14, 
uh, 13, very, I can eat a big bowl of rice and, you know, plenty of food, no problem. But because the hunger of the economic, uh, the, 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 the life is so difficult, so we, we can't buy rice. The government back then, they just give you enough rice to eat for what you are, and that's it. That's it. That. But here, God say that we need to, to share and give rather than receiving. It's not easy, isn't it? As God generous to, to, to our life, He loved, He sent Jesus to come down to this world and share and giving time and love and care for us. Dear brother and sister, sometimes it can be hard to be generous, but we can lean on God and to help us as when we trust in Him. He will act and carry us through a difficult time. That's why this word David had experienced in his life. He always trusts and, and he commit the way to the Lord and trust in Him and He will act. Another thing we are in this life, we have to face with the difficult time in this world. We need to trust Him. You know, uh, last year may have a hard year for you. And this year may as hard as difficult if you don't get out the old situation. You don't solve the problem. You're just staying the same thing and nothing happened to your life. Nothing happened to the new year. So you end up stuck in. You may struggling with your finance. You may struggling with your relationship. You may get problem with your work, health, your education. All that kind of thing you need to talk and you need to pray to the Lord hardly enough. So tell him there are so many ways struggling, struggling we will continue to be faced. Maybe the, the, the tempting uh, is run away. And, and, and we claim the other, or even we claim ourselves. But God reminds to not be afraid and trust in Him. We can find an, an certification in Him. He will never leave us nor second us. Because why? Because this is the trust. We can fight our difficulty. We can trust that He will bring to pass and He had already done so through Jesus. I have experienced uh, back in was, uh, when I was in, uh, in high school, year 10, because I came to Australia in 1983, year 10 is so difficult for me because the language. I mean like mathematics and science, I got no... I got no problem with that, but language. So what I'm going to do? How can I learn English? Uh, with my, I, I come to Sydney with our parents, with our, my brother and sister. By myself, I live in, with my foster parents. They all English. So how can I join with the competition? When I talk to them, what I'm going to do? When I, I don't know English much. I do know English when I was in Vietnam, but only just reading, but no practical when we're speaking. So I have to learn English to English. Before I learned Vietnamese, translating in English, and then back into Vietnamese. So I said, this, this is not on. If you want English good, you need to give up your, I mean, your mother tongue language. It's good, always good. Don't forget, but learn English to English. That way you are, you know, you can make it the word more simple. People can understand you. So don't be shy. Um, I stay with my foster parents, uh, my foster brother. I teach him how to play Chinese chess. I teach him how to play kate. I don't know, you guys know kate, sop sam kate, kat. And uh, I teach him how to make fish soy because he's, he's a strand. 
but then it's buying time, sharing the language, sharing the culture, then we see face to the difficulty, it's, it's not easy. Dear brother and sister, there are many more structure we will be continue face. But it's the temptation, run away, lame the other, lame to ourselves sometimes. But God say, don't be a face. God say, I'm here. Talk to him. We can find the truth that we are need to move the difficulty hand into God and God will leading us to the to, and showing the problem. Because one time I I I when I was in Sydney, I thinking how can I live to earn money when I was in high school, my parents suffering in Vietnam, my sister don't have clothes to wear when it's New Year. So what I'm gonna do? So I taking I pray, I give my concern, my problem to the Lord. At Psalm chapter 37, verse 5, is always in my mind and commitment the way to the Lord and trusting Him, He will act. Thank God that He already give me direction for the new year. And I want to continue to be new this new year. I'm going to be doing further out and, and, and trusting Him because we are human beings. We are may do the way we are thinking the best, but actually we need to listen to God and doing God's way. Because we are human beings, we are may doing our own thing. We are thinking we are, we are super, we are so smart, we are so good, we proud ourselves because we have a high education. Wrong. We are need to trust in the Lord and commit into His way, and He will act. How do we get this experience? We move to number five. Experience trust, comfort, and joy. Trust in God. And again, Palm chapter 37 of the five remind us to commit in your way to the Lord and trust Him, He will act. What does it mean we can be sure that God will guide us and help us even we are uncircumstanced? He knows us, He loves us, and He and we will trust Him for peace, comfort, and joy in all our circumstances. Dear brother and sister, is many ways we can get out of this way is to trust in Him. Have you ever talked to someone and share your true thing and you are crying? Have you ever talked to your mom and dad and sit down and really talk to him to them and say, Mom, I really struggling in my life. I really need help. I need you to listen to me. Don't demand, don't compare, compare me to somebody else. My life this much. But God already gave me that enough strength to carry on uh, and I will continue to do better. So mom, dad, please listen to me. And that's what I'm going to do every time I get chuckling, I get hard time with the people around me. I will sit down and talk to God and I will cry to God like a son crying to the father. I believe God will listen and God will act. Many times I face very difficult situation in my life. Maybe someone harmful may murder me, may kill me. In that situation, I really scared and I don't know what I'm going to do, but I say to the Lord, you are my God, you are create me, you are control my life. When I die, I know the day that you are giving to me. So therefore, I'm not scared of anyone. I will cry and sh tell God that I will trust in you, God, and please act and control my life. New year is had come. New things you are looking forward. Many things that you are going to be plan and do for your future. In all five ways I share you today, there is a common team, it's trust in the Lord. If you apply one thing today for this new year, 
I pray maybe that all good thing and trust in God is a really blessing for you. Just apply one and you will see what happens. Conclusion. God give us our life. He also give us freedom to choose how we live. Sadly, in the following Presley describe our sin resolve for our suffering. Because we're still doing our own way. Nothing happened, nothing news for the new year. You still hold things. You think your, your, your foundation, the last year is better than this year and you continue to use that method and move on and never happen. It will be failed if you don't trust in him and let him carry your life. However, in his generosity, love, God allow us to come to him through Jesus. He died and re redirection and we can come to God as a friend, as a father, and we can talk to him. We can commit our way to God, trust in him, know he will pass it on. When we trust in God enough, we will have the experience, comfort, and rejoin in our life. Remember to commit in your way to the Lord and trust Him. He will act. Please stand up. We got few. Uh, pray point, I want to read it out so you can spend a minute, close your eye and pray to God. Thank God for giving our life. Sorry God for going against you in sins. Thank you for showing us your love in Jesus. Please help us with your Holy Spirit to commit to you and trust you and share your love around us and other may know you. I pray in this name. Amen. Thank you.